Hey there, it's me, Marie, again, and as you can see, I had to take a recording break from all of these videos. It is a new day, and I've got some good stuff for you guys today. Today, we're going to talk about starting your first party. So I'm going to take a minute to talk to you about how to go through the steps to create a party in your back office and on Facebook. There are several types of parties. There is an online party, there is a home party, or you could do like a vendor event or something along those lines. But today we're just mostly going to focus on online parties because that is where our bread and butter is built. Many parties don't qualify, but as we talked about in the last video, you had to have fast start. Uh, you have to have parties, online parties, in order to get fast start. So let's talk about how to set those up. So I'm going to share my screen with you. All right. Okay, here we go. So actually, I don't need to buy this lip gloss set. You're going to go to my office. And this is your portal. This is where you're gonna find a lot of the information at your disposal that you need in order to run your business. You're gonna to go to My Parties. I clicked it. Maybe I didn't. Come on. Oy vey, my internet's being so slow. You guys will have to bear with me. All right, you go to My Parties. And then as you scroll down, you'll see this lovely little box here that says schedule new party. Come on, I thought I clicked it. Okay, once you click schedule this party, you have three options. You have the option to host this party for yourself. And if you just signed up with Unique, this is gonna be your option. You're gonna start your own party. It's one of the most amazing parts about being with Unique is that you not only do you get to earn commissions, but on your own sales, you apply them to your own party and you get rewards as well. As you can see, as you saw on the last page, I had a lot of rewards. I'll go back and I'll show that to you in a second. The next option is to start a party for a customer or a friend. That's somebody that's already in your database or somebody that you have an email address for. The third option is invite a friend to create a party. Now, the way, that, the way that I do this is that's when I have a friend in Messenger who says, I'm ready to have a party. Then I create the link for her and I send the link to her from this invite a friend. We're just going to click I will host this party. All right. Once you get to the I will host this party page, there's a couple of things that you need to decide how you want to do it. Obviously, you'll select your country depending on where you are or depending on where your hostess is. Then you will decide what you want your theme to be. So this theme is not entirely important. It's more for the banner that comes up on your shopping page when customers click to order from you. I usually like to stick to the bright and colorful ones. I almost always pick bonbons, the lips, or the palettes because I feel like they're just the most eye-catching. It's personal preference. You can pick any one that you want. Right, and then from that point, you could click Save My Party. I will show you another option here. You could click Customize My Party. See how I scrolled over that? You click Customize My Party, and then you can change the name. See how this says Unique Virtual Party for Marie Triplet? You could change it to say something like, Oh, let's say every October I do a breast cancer awareness party. So maybe I could do Marie's Beauty for Boobies, right? Now my party will say that at the top. You can make it say anything you want, right? I don't like to put party, in, I don't like to put the word party in my link. So this says Marie's Beauty for Boobies. That's what we do for my breast cancer awareness month. Um, this is the media. You could change that if you wanted. And then you can also update what your customers see when they click on your shopping link. Now, if I was doing a donation-based thing, I would say, uh, welcome to Beauty for Boobies, 10% uh, 
from all sales will be donated to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Okay, so that's a way that you can customize that if you're doing a fundraising event or if you're doing something special that's out of the box. So then you click Save My Party. You're immediately directed to your page. Now you can see here what it says, Marie's Beauty for Boobies. There's a countdown here. So you know how many days this party is open. All of our parties are open for 10 days. You can shut them down earlier, but you cannot extend them longer than 10 days. So it's very important that you are aware of when you're creating your parties when they end so you don't miss out on the cutoff. Okay, and then from there you also see that it gives you a hyperlink to this party. This is what you would share on your page or in your event that you create on Facebook so that people could um, shop from you. Another fun thing about this portal is that it has a tracker. So you'll know that this is a great thing to show your hostesses. Once I get into hostess coaching, this is one of the things that we'll talk about this tracker. It's a great way for your hostesses to figure out how much rewards they're, they're getting because that's how you get them hyped up and excited. Okay. So now that you've got your back office party created, the next thing that you'll want to do is go to your Facebook, go to events, create a new event, create a private event. And then at this point, you'll want to update all of the information. You can do Marie's Beauty for Boobies and then all this other stuff here. You can have a start date and an end date. I always like to put an end date because Facebook sends reminders to those people that have been invited that the event is going to end. So we're gonna go here and put an end date at 8 p.m. I like to put 9 p.m. because they will get a reminder at 8 p.m. on the 13th that the party is over. And then you'll wanna write a description. I usually do a little copy and paste and there is a scripts spreadsheet for you in the file section of the Glam Squad a group here on Facebook. So you could do this description. You could say shop, shop, and shop some more, right? You put whatever you want there. We're just going to pretend like that's good enough for now. And then you'll want to upload a photo. I'd like to use a photo of makeup. If I'm creating a party, we've got to go in 15 minutes. If I'm creating, if I'm creating a party for a hostess, sometimes I like to make a custom banner with their name on it, but let's just say, let's see if I have one here that we could use. Oh, this will work. This will work. We just need a picture. We'll just pretend like that's a picture of makeup for this training event. And then we click create private event. Oh, it's got to be after this start time. So let's move this to six o'clock, create a private event. Okay, so now we're in this private event. There are a couple of things that you should do before you invite your friends. What I always like to do is I like to make sure that my description is updated. It includes the URL from the party, the shopping link. And then I like to post a picture, a selfie picture, and a welcome message. The welcome message usually says something like, hey, my name's Marie, I'm so excited to be sharing all the wonderful makeup stuff, yada, 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 there are scripts, like I said, don't reinvent the wheel, I've already created the wheel for you, okay? So now you've got that updated, you've added in a primer post so that when people accept, there is something that they could see there. Then you invite your friends and you get started with your party, okay? Let's go to the Glam Squad really quick. I'm gonna show you something here in the Glam Squad. Under Files, you're gonna find Postcron Scripts. This is for a 10-day party, so you could click this here. 
hopefully this opens. I might have to, sh uh, let's see if it just opens. While that's opening, we're going to, I have to reshare a different screen. So let's go to share screen and I wanna make sure that we are sharing this. Okay, so now we're sharing this. Um, this document. So we're going to open this document up a little wider and you can see that we've got all of these, all of these scripts here that you can use to post in parties. See how it says, welcome to the party. You have each earned 10 raffle entries towards the door prize for clicking going. There's a lot of great stuff in here. What I will say is to make sure that you go into that and you make it personal. Make sure it sounds like your own voice. Customize it to who you are. If you don't say doll, then make sure you remove all the times I say doll because I say doll a lot. It's one of my favorite words to refer to women as a doll. But maybe you say babe or maybe you say chick or something like that. Whatever you say, make sure it's using your words. That's what's gonna allow it to come across as authentic and that's how people are really gonna connect with you. So that's how you're going to start your first launch party. I've got some scripts. There are also pictures. Let's go back. Let's check that out really quick. Share that screen. Oop, not that one. Oh, yeah, maybe we can. Yes. Okay. So we're going to go under photos. And then from the photos, you're going to go under albums. And hopefully you are working with a computer that is a little faster than mine because mine is not so fast. Come on, come on. Okay, let's just pretend that we're not having technical difficulties. Under albums, you will find an album that says party photos. Easy peasy breezy. Go under there, look at some of those photos. If you find some cool ones that you like, you can contribute, you can add those photos in too, just to give everyone some great things to use. And you're off and running. It's time for you to go out there, start your party, start making some money. Let's do it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later in the next video. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.